Hey Tim, every match of the men's and women's Ashes will be shown live on Sky Sports and now from the 16th of June. Watch it. You actually forgot the date, didn't you? Completely forgot the date <laughs> when the Ashes starts. Cool, so um, kick us off. One word to describe Ben Stokes. Legend. Leader. Nice. Um, question sort of more of you, Stuart. Uh, do you deliberately wind up Australians? These one word answers, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can expand a little bit on that. Uh, I'm pretty good at it, I think. It's one of my, one of my strengths. Um, but it's, uh, I think the Ashes is, it's a great circus before the series starts and I'm, I, I really enjoy that side of it. You lie awake at night thinking about it. <laughs> Do you think about your lines before you say it? I don't, that's the worrying thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, favourite Ashes moment, hey, both of you, what's your favourite Ashes moment? Uh, ben Stokes' cover point back foot drive. Cut away, cut away. Cut the away ball. with the crowd going berserk behind, big screen, Lion rolling back onto his... Uh, watching that back was, was awesome. Being there was nerve-wracking, but watching it back was awesome. How often have you watched that back? I did it about five times in two days straight after it. <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from the same game actually uh, the Australian media manager who I won't name um, it looked like Australia were going to win didn't it that one and I went to him I said I need some interviews if that's okay can you help me out and he sort of said oh we'll see we'll see if I can give you a couple of players and then of course England won and I went up to him and said it's okay we're covered <laughs> uh, one word to describe Steve Smith superb awesome uh, one Australian that you would have in the current England team. Nobody's actually put anyone in yet. We've had a couple of twelve men to make coffee and things like that. I, no. I'm the thing is, I'm looking at my team. I can't swap anyone in the top seven or the bowlers. I mean, no. Cool. No. no. Perfect. Okay. This is probably probably an obvious answer for you, but Vegemite or Marmite. Marmite. I actually prefer Vegemite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I prefer Promite. Okay. That's a better one from Australia. Okay. Promite, what's that? Which same sort of thing, but it's not quite as that. You know, you get that thing with Vegemite and Marmite. It's not. It's somewhere in between Bovril and Marmite, or Bovril and Vegemite, sort of in between. Promite is good. Okay. Question: uh, Would Ian Ward suit a bucket hat? Yeah, I think we should try it. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you, know they sort of, you know how ridiculous you lot they look. Ju they just, well, what happened is we got into the change room and they, there was like Wayne Bentley was walking around with a new influx of bucket hats. And Robbo had his sort of Ray-Bans on, put it on, looked like he was going to a festival. And then said, what, what are the odds of you wearing that to do an interview? I was like, I'll wear it. And then suddenly everyone started walking out for warm-up in them and Stokes he wore it at the end of the game as well, didn't he? He was going to wear it at the presentation with Ash, but he had to nick Rooty's cap, didn't he? Yeah. And then he put it back on for the first So time. maybe start the Ashes where everyone's all branded up and we can wear them all the time. There you go. Nice one. Ward, Atherton, the same. Who's won the most Ashes series? We've both won as many as each other. Perfect. Nothing. There you go. Right answer. Uh, <laughs> best sledge, best Ashes sledge you've heard? Anything you could say? The only one I can think of, and I wasn't there, so I don't know if it actually happened, but Jimmy Orman was getting stick mm. from Mark Waugh, and Jimmy turned around and said, you can shut up, you're not even the best player in your own family. And Adam Gilchrist laughed hard. <laughs> Awesome. I'll let you know in August. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Perfect. Um, so the Australian women's team are coming over. People have said this is the best side to ever play the sport. Do you agree? I think absolutely. And not just that, are they the best side ever in sport? And if not, who is the best side ever in sport? I can't answer who's the best side ever in sport, but they're the best women's cricket team I've seen, even without Meg, Meg Lanning. I think England are going to win, though. I'm not saying they can't win. I'm just saying, having seen the women's game over the last few years and that yeah, Australian they're side, they're, 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 they're ten years ahead of everyone else in terms of their structure mm. and payment things. So people are playing catch up. I agree. It's not a foregone conclusion. Like, Trent Bridge is a good, good ground. I like for the us. fact that they're playing. Yeah. That. I think that's a good ground for us, like to to play the Aussies on. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, they're 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 the best women's team ever to have played the game, aren't they? By distance. Yeah. Definitely. Who's uh, is, Healy going to skip her, is she? I think so, yeah. She's, no, got, a I mean, she's got a lot on her plate, though, because she's got keep, mm. she? But also, that's a, quite a big thing. Like if the captain, it's, it's like someone replacing Stokesy now. Terrible time to lose. I mean, look, we wish Meg well, obviously. Mm. She's obviously 
taken time away for good reasons, but timing is bad, isn't it, mm. for the team? Oh, so, and just to finish off then, Ash's prediction. Well, I asked Simon Dool and Kumar Sangakara this the other day, and they said 3 2 to New Zealand, so that wasn't really much help. <laughs> what? They wouldn't. I got asked the question, and I uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, they, yeah. they couldn't give an answer, so if they can't. Give I an think answer, it's going to be a cracker of a series. Yeah, I do. And actually, for my point, the result doesn't really matter as long as the cricket's outstanding. See, actually, of course it matters. Well, not in our environment anymore, mate. It's not results. Take the results out of it. It's the process. It's all about bucket hats. It's about bucket hats and enjoying it. Nice one. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Pleasure.